Okay, just going to uh, show you an example of A2 uh, controlled assignment. This was done by Tom Postlethwaite this year. And so we get the uh, paper from the exam board and generally students look at three themes to start with. Um, and uh, Tom chose to look at Tom Lloyd, Storyteller and Rolling. So it quickly goes through some mind maps, looking at these different things. Um, and he focuses fairly quickly on the rolling. So he's then picked up some observational drawings looking at various things that roll. So we've got a, a wheel and a lino roller and a ball bearing. So various other things and just starting very quickly to pick up on the sort of graphic imagery of anything that rolls and some nice little experiments um, here uh, working with pointillism and getting a feeling of tyre tracks and things. A nice little frame. Um, he then goes out on a photo shoot to find anything that looks like rolling and he's found some very nice old agricultural equipment that's um, got some very nice imagery and he's got some really good close-ups um, and these prove sort of critical in uh, directing his project. It's nice little sort of mechanical bits and pieces but quite thinking about it quite well so we've got rolling waves as well and some nice little sketches and overlays in there. Uh, so we've got a little bit of a uh, sort of collage of imagery there to support his ideas and just looking at anything that connects in with the theme of rolling. So he's looked at the underground and the rolling stock there and the design, uh, the famous underground map from Henry Beck. Then he starts um, sort of just dealing with uh, some of the imagery from that. So just dealing with simplifying lines and very sort of basic sort of mark making exploration, just trying out ideas. Um, then he takes that sort of simplified form and starts looking at some lettering and see what he can do with that. And he starts playing with some thread and some stitches and some directions and lines just to see what he can do. Then he starts um, working with these simplified forms um, and he's got some nice sort of simplified vehicles. It's come from very simple, quite crude sketches um, and he just starts playing around with things. So this was an experiment with string and nails, just sort of getting direction and creating a a wheel or a round thing reflecting the rolling. He starts to look at uh, a, a rolling calendar and the idea of a calendar and years rolling by, time rolling by, so he's got uh, the kind of wheel type of direction and the sort of time concept working together. Um, and he starts to develop ideas and starts thinking that he's going to do some sort of a calendar. So he's working away, starting to develop these simplified images um, he looks at Abram Games, which is a very good reference um, because um, that, that a lot of Abram Games work was linked with transport. Um, so he's got, again, nice simplified images um, and he has this sort of clean cut crisp style um, that creates this sort of imagery. Um, but he's also looking at sort of more widely at other artists just in terms of how they've used colour uh, and what they do. So that there's a nice range of things explored. Starts to work with the transport theme and gets the idea of sort of getting lots of different forms of transport, um, just keeping the shapes really simple um, so they're just nice sort of graphic outcomes. And he gets into the sort of page layout of the, of the diary or the calendar or whatever it's going to be. So he starts exploring these. Then he starts some sort of cutouts and frames looking at using the images that he got earlier and just playing around with typography so we've got some nice sort of lettering or numbers um, here and some nice layout using bits of card and paper so a sort of collage effect. And this is where he really sort of focuses in on designing lots of his different um, vehicles, anything to do with transport and rolling and he gets a nice range of simple concepts and he starts building these towards to creating images to go into this diary and linking it in with months of the year and so forth. Um, and he decides that he wants to produce a whole um, diary, which means an awful lot of images have to be generated. Um, so just keep developing, changing, trying little things. Um, so here we've got some sort of lino printing going on, there's the original bit of lino in there, um, and all sorts of things, little photos tied in, just things, looking at the binding of the book and how he's going to do it. Uh, then he looks at diary page layout and then he starts trying things with numbers, a lovely experiment just dealing with changing the size of numbers to build vehicles out of the dates. And then he starts putting these images together to create actual designs, so we've got multiples, so we've got some repeat patterns going on from the roller sketch that he did very early on. 
So he explores all these different things, gradually building them up. All these drawings are done digitally, I think in Illustrator. So he's got a nice, a nice bit of research on different vehicle types that he needs. And he builds this through into a nice fat sketchbook, uh, which is always good to see. So just finally dealing with the sort of layout of the design and the final set. So this is a draft copy of all the different pages. Show this one. And we can see his final design um, is presented in the back pages of there. But he has also got um, the final design of the diary was made like this. So he's got a very nice presentation box in the, the sort of wrapping paper, if you like, that he's designed with all his images. But that opens up and we get a very professional looking diary, um, which when we open it up, it just says the theme transport, a very discreet little bit of typography. And then we get each page has got one of these very simple but lovely illustrations um, working away. So he's got his uh, um, uh, shuttle there and sort of basic lines. And he's just got every page has just got one of these nice simple illustrations. So that's one of his final outcomes, really nice graphic product. Then he's got his presentation boards. Um, so his first board explains what the whole project was about, just really condensing the sketchbook into uh, one board, so that explaining the background, the brief, and a brief evaluation. Then he's got a sample of his final uh, design for the, the cover paper, really nicely laid out, nicely produced in a large format. Then he has he presents some sample sheets of the uh, the diary, so that there's some evidence. Um, sometimes you can't take a book or something, you just need a flat page to show what it looked like. And he's got sample pages printed up on his mount boards, which are looking very, very nice. Printed on nice glossy paper, really high quality. And he's just got a couple of samples of those. Um, that's a really nice example of the controlled assignment, which he would have done in about 10 weeks. And it took a lot of work to get it to that standard, that level of professionalism.